Hi, I'm Blair Jersey from Nexop US Dev Team. Today, I'm going to give you a small tip about how to create or store Nexop US. Okay, so first, when you have installed the system for the first time, you you may see something like this. Actually, is the basic dashboard for a single store. We call it uh, we call it the warehouse. Okay, so I want to create. Uh, I want to enable the multi-store feature. So the first thing I need to do is to access to the setting. And then I scroll down to store settings. Okay, now I just need to enable the feature and click on save setting. Okay, so now you see that the dashboard is a little bit different. Okay, so we have some new menu, and you also have this drop down on top here where you can access quickly to one store uh, or other. Okay, so now I will create a store. I can do it from here. As you can see here, we have create a new store, and you or you can go here. Uh, click on store and then add a store okay so I will add a store from here let's call it uh, let's call it um, anything my superstore okay so the status is open okay you can also add some preview some images if you want you can do it okay so when you set just save and go back to the list so during this moment next so we'll create the table for these stores and will prepare all the stuff you need to, to use when the store will be ready and when the, um, the creation will be complete you will see um, you will go back to the store list where you will see your store like this one okay we have my store the status is open and then you have the all, uh, all uh, orders the there like the preview um, the outer the date and so on okay so from here I can't now access to my store here okay when i click on that access to the store okay so uh you can see it's basically like uh when the the multi store feature is not enabled okay you have you can have many store as you want you, there is no restriction on xop us you can create as many store as your hosting allow you to do because uh, you must know that when you have many stores you may also have uh, in the background a powerful server to to handle all this you can have a vps or you can have a dedicated server okay so that's basically how you can create uh stores on on xop us and i would like to show you how the database is structured now so we have here here is actually uh an xop us here's the place where i've installed the system and where uh, as you can see here we have the the regular database the regular table here and from here we have all table has a prefix which is actually store one store one and if i create another store it will be store two store three and so on i think you get it so now uh, it will be uh, easy for you to handle uh, table and and so on okay if you have any question you can contact me on skype or you can contact me on code canyon okay thank you for watching this